Uh, I just want to ask you the next important question. Who are angels? Because we hear so many talks about them and kind of this talk is almost everywhere and a lot of angel workshops are being held. Do angels exist? Who are they? How can how do they help us? Yes, angels do exist. There are three evolutions that God has created. One is the first evolution we talked about as a as a human beings who become ascended masters. Mm -hmm. Second evolution is of the angel, evolution of the angel, which is a separate evolution. They do exist, mm -hmm. and they are the the word angel. Question: What is the, where does the word angel come from? It's an angle, angle. Of, of God's consciousness. It's the angle of God consciousness. Now you might think, well, what is the angle of God consciousness? The angle means God has different angles of understanding. Love is a one angle. Wisdom is another angle. Power is another angle. Healing is another angle. Worship is another angle. So you know, we call them. In, so there are. So each angle. There are seven colors. Seven angles. That if you're talking about seven major rays, we call them seven major rays. And these angles, they represent each of the seven rays of the angle of God consciousness to help us, to help mankind, to illumine them, to increase love in them, to really, as the partners, mm -hmm. of really uh, helping them to, so that we as human beings can achieve our goal that we talked about, mm -hmm. becoming who we really are as mm -hmm. you know, such the daughters of God. Yeah, but uh, you know, you know, human beings are physical beings. So we have our five senses through which we perceive the world. And anything is, becomes like uh, more uh, believable for us only if we can see or feel it or hear it. And angels obviously are ethereal beings we you can't uh, perceive them with your you know, naked eyes. So then how can angels actually make a difference to our lives when they are not even visible? And uh, you can't even say that an angel is around me or I can hear an angel tell me what to do and what not to do. So don't you think that's a big obstacle in our communication with an angel because they come from a realm which is completely invisible to us. So then it becomes a, a questionable itself. Many people will question, do we keep they are there? Uh, how can they uh, make themselves known to me? Can I answer something first that is probably will be helpful to answering what is the question on that you asked. Many of us in human body are angels incarnate. That, I don't know whether you, you knew that. So we took the human body as an angel because we wanted to volunteer or we wanted to help others. Mm -hmm. uh, the people, so people can see us maybe. That's another way to say that mm -hmm. because people don't see the angel. So we do imbibe those angelic qualities because people can see us in the human body. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. why we don't see angels? Why many people don't see angels? And so people, somebody, somebody can think as a myth, is it a myth or is it a reality? Mm -hmm. I have felt the presence of angels since I've been my 45 years of journey of the, you know, and part of the reason is that as I began to purify my temple, my body temple, we have seven chakras in our, so I have to purify each of the chakras. So a lot of times the impurities in our chakras, that because that does not allow us to really see those angels, you know, because uh, the angels exist at a level of, level of light. We are also, as human beings are beings of light, our soul is a soul is a being of light. Mm -hmm. Because the soul is in the human body, mm -hmm. you know, people see us our human body, but the soul has the same ingredients mm -hmm. as the angels have. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, I hope I'm uh, where, where I'm coming to. So the soul has the same I say qualities, but also the composition or the I won't say DNA, but I'll say the same elements, uh, at, at huh. elements, huh. elements or atoms or electrons, you know, as the angel. So we do vibrate at the soul level with, with the angel. As we begin to purify our chakras, our, our body, lower bodies, 
uh, we, and angels help us to do that, by the way. They, that, that, that's what I meant earlier when you answered the question. They help us to purify our chakras. We begin to imbibe at their vibration and have seen many, many people, uh, angels of different colors. They have seen angels of, you know, pink color, yellow color, blue color, of course, three color, white color. So angels, like, for example, if an angel is disembodied, kind of not in a physical form, then if they have to appear to somebody whose chakras are clear, how would they appear, like in the form of light or in the form of some, no, some being with a feather or uh, any idea? Yeah, they have. Well, that's a very good question. Uh, the angels are different because God created them as you know, as a conveyor. What they happen? They come from the every day, 24 hours, they come from the source, which we call it Great Central Sun. Mm -hmm. That is the source, the hub of light. Mm -hmm. And they, 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 they absorb that light from there, and then they travel to the earth and they deposit that light where, where, they, where we are. They're different in us that they have wings. They're different, they have, we don't, human beings don't have wings, different evolution. Mm -hmm. What also is something unique to remember about them, we as human beings, as sons and daughters of God, we have a three-fold flame in our heart chakra, which is a, we talk about that later. It's a three-fold flame of trinity of diff, three different colors, the yellow, the, the, the pink, and the blue, they are it's a three-fold flame in our heart. So they do not have a three-fold flame. The God created angels first, and then they created the human beings. Mm -hmm. And here is the very important point. So God created the angel first, and they said, well, now, he created a human being they had, and he gifted the human being with a three-fold flame. And they said that, so all the angels they bowed before the three-fold flame of three-fold flame of Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva, we call it also. You know. mm -hmm. So they all bowed before the three-fold flame. Now that in itself is that something that why they bow to the three-fold flame? Mm -hmm. Because they were created even even before yeah. the, the human being, but and that it tells you that they are over that Part that says I'm superior or I am inferior right. or why did not God really give me that three for flame? So they are in that totally absorbed in that flame, I call it flame, flame of loving, flame of serving, flame of giving, and really making sure that can I say use the word the team wins. You know, it's not individual players. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot, lot of times they say that who's who's going who's the best player? Mm -hmm. They think, well, who's the best team, you know. We want to serve this team of sons and daughters of God, mm -hmm. and they are our oh. counterpart in that time. Wow, that's such a high state of consciousness to be in. Okay, so how can we work with the angels? Uh, is there a way through which you know, we can uh, communicate with them, get their messages, uh, and also work alongside them in raising the collective human consciousness? Uh, that's excellent question, you know, and this, this was really, these were the kind of question that you're asking me, you know, when I started my journey, I, I wanted to know that, is it a myth, is that something real, is that, you know, do they exist, and, and how can I be, how can I be a partner, how can I know them, they are prayers, we call them mantras, we call them decrees also, I'm, mm -hmm. I, I belong to an organization in America, you know, so they have a book, we call it prayers, we give them, we call them decrees, right? The decrees for the angels of the seven colors. Mm -hmm. So, you know what I mean? Each color of angel, they have an archangel. Archangel means the general of that particular ray. So, seven rays, there are seven archangels. Mm -hmm. And they work with the archangel, like, 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 like army general or, you know, that. Mm -hmm. so they work in unison. But also, the question is that, why there are seven? Actually, there are seven major rays, there are five, also five secret rays. So there are seven plus five, there are twelve rays of, you know, that the angels correspond to. There are twelve archangels also in that way. So they have a particular mission in terms of because they represent a particular quality as an angle of God's uh, characteristic, you know, you can say that way. And they want to impart that. So, so how we work with them, that's a question. Mm -hmm. How we raise ourselves. So we have been given many, many prayers, particularly for each of the rays. 
which one. So we have been told that we, had, we came on a particular ray. We have a major ray, all of us human beings. Mm -hmm. And we have a minor ray, like, like you go to college, you know, you want to do major course, what is your minor one, you know. Mm -hmm. So we have a major ray and we have a minor ray. And we have a sub certain question and answer that we answer. Mm -hmm. And then we this objective type question and answer. So it takes about 10, 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. And then, then it gives us the highest score, that is score, objective type. You add the score and the second highest. So then you know your, this is your major ray. This is your minor ray. Then you know who is your arc, which ray, who is the archangel, who is the angel you work with on the first ray and so second. All these rays differ from person to person. They cannot Correct. Exactly so. The same yes. Just like a, a thumbprint, it's different for all individuals. So the rays and the combinations could also be a little different for each person. That's very true. So. Basic, you know, characteristics. Absolutely, and it is so because mm. the reason is this. Each one has, each person has a divine mission, unique divine mission, mm. on a different ray. Mm. <laughs> you know? So it's not like the, God did not make us cut with a cookie cutter kind of thing, you know. So really, everyone has the same mission. Everyone has the same mission, but have a, has a unique divine plan, or we call it dharma, mm. accomplish. Uh, mm. Karma to balance and dharma to accomplish uniquely. Mm.